Hey guys, how you going? Another weekend, another trip. So it's the uh, long weekend here in, in Perth. So we found a little cheeky getaway, which we're looking forward to. So we're heading to a place called Chapman Hill, which is south of Busselton. Um, place we haven't found before. It's a, I think it was a hip camp one, I'm not sure. We found it on Wiki Camps. Um, it's got really good reviews. So that's where we're heading for a couple of days here. It's the WA Labor Day long weekend. Other than that, we've got our little furry friend behind us. Gracie. Joining us on this trip, which is nice. So um, yeah, she's looking forward to that. <laughs> Bit of a slow run this, this morning. And we're on um, so Forest Highway at the moment, yeah. near Hines Road and looks like there's been a crash up front, which is which is a worry. It looks like there's a couple of ambulances and a fire engine, so it must be pretty bad. We yeah. can't quite see what's happened yet. You know, it's some uh, slow down of cars all cut to stop on and off there, mate. Oh, Never nice to see that when you're going away on holiday or any time for that matter. Yeah, it looks like a car's been T-boned at an intersection. A little car as well. Yeah, it looks pretty nasty. Hope everyone's all right. We're about 10 minutes outside of Busselton, aren't we? Yeah. So um, yeah, nice and close for uh, pop into town and get supplies, which is handy. We've got a nice little spot, shady spot, um, where we're gonna just put out the awning, which is, which is lovely. Um, sort of grass bottom, which is good. Ouch. So the window is open here. <laughs> which is kind of inconveniently positioned above the, uh, the slide out uh, kitchen area. And I've just walked straight into it, smacked my head. So that hurt. Um, <laughs> do you guys ever do stupid stuff like that? Or is it just me? All right, we're on a bit of a mission, aren't we? For some uh, fire bread. So we've, um, gone to yelling up which is about what 25 minutes or so from like from our campsite and we're a bit early we want the uh we want the fruit we want loaf. the fruit loaf yeah it comes yeah. out at 4 p.m we've been told so and it's we've 308 got 308 <laughs> bit of time to kill so we're gonna head down to smith's beach in yelling up which is absolutely stunning so yeah we're gonna maybe get some uh stretch of legs for gracie as well yep Hey Maxie, hey Gracie. She's dying to get on the beach. There's a problem. <laughs> I don't think she can go downstairs. There you go. Alright, have a at the front of the famous firebread here in Yelling Up. Uh, we often go to the one in Margaret River, but the one here in Yelling Up is equally as good. It's obviously a bit closer to where we're staying. One thing about coming here is you've got to get here early. 4 p.m. is normally when the fruit bread comes out. We love our fruit bread, so we've made sure we're here on the dot. And as we arrive, there's about 10 deep people sort of uh, waiting there. So uh, yeah, get in here early, but uh, we'll be loving that for breakfast in the morning. Check this out. Wow. How many, out the oven. how many have you got here? Three fruit. Well, one's for mum and dad. Yeah. Two fruits for us and then a white. But they're all really hot. So I need to, <laughs> I need to put them down. They're fresh out the oven. So what were we just listening to that we can't play? Uh, throwback to Powderfinger. Kate's like, I want to listen to Powderfinger. I haven't heard that for ages. So yeah. Chucked it on. It's good. Old school tunes. Yeah. Show my age a bit. Yep. <laughs> I'm, the I'm the oldie. I'm the oldie. So, what's going on here, guys? Snacks. Snacks. Fire bread. Fire bread. Yep. Hummus. Yum. 
-hmm. And some cheese. And it's Shall still it's still warm. Mm. So good. It's the best, it really is. Check that out. That is the famous fruit. This is our favorite. Yeah, the one we have in Margaret River normally has fig and apricot, I think, as well. It's really nice. So I'm not sure if this is the same, but it smells yum. So um, that'll be breakfast in the morning, won't it? Yeah. The fruit loaf's $10. And the white bread or the rye or I can't remember the sourdough, seven fifty. Not the cheapest bread going around, but certainly for us it's worth it. It's always something we grab when we come down south, whether it's Margaret River or near Yelling Up, we grab ourselves a couple of these. So Mark, let's take two and let's talk about <laughs> what's new. The new edition. Yeah, we actually did a little update on a little small addition to the van and then we realized we didn't have our mic set up so the audio is probably terrible so we thought we'd re-record it for you. Um, I'll get Kay to show you down here. There's a little product we've um, we've just purchased it's called the Aussie Block and Chock and it's suitable for the uh, Arc Series 750 um, jockey wheel that we've got. You're probably noticing here it's a lot wider than a standard jockey wheel, the wheel itself. Um, so it's about 11 centimeters wide. Um, so we were struggling to have something that would actually be suitable to fit this particular van. And we actually had a couple of times where we um, unhitched the van and it actually moved and tapped the back of the uh, of mm. the vehicle, um, which is not ideal. Yeah, and there's, there's nothing out there that we've found that actually fits this particular jockey wheel. I actually put a note out on, um, it was actually Instagram, a couple of weeks ago and I said um, hey look any solutions to this these guys at ARC actually responded and said hey there's actually a company that makes something suitable reach out so here we go we're giving it a try and it's yeah look at that fits the wheel perfectly I, I think this will be good for off-road camping as well like mm. beaches and things like that so but we just thought we'd mention that one because it might be something that you guys are actually looking for as well maybe you can include the footage with no sound maybe, <laughs> yeah. so you can see it in action see it here. <laughs> <laughs> And I'll just quickly show you how pretty this place is. Look at that. So that's us. Oh, I've got someone in the background, but that's okay. Pretty nice. So we've had a nice day today. Uh, got our fire bread. Obviously drove down from Perth, been to Smith's Beach. And uh, we're gonna settle in for a nice quiet night. We've got a chicken curry. Um, we're gonna cook up now. And then tomorrow we'll see what, what, what the day brings. Uh, but this particular um, site is, is really nice. So the, the owners are really lovely. Uh, we've got a nice scenic location overlooking the bush. So what more can you ask for? Didn't cover a lot tonight because uh, we were busy chatting actually. I met um, a really nice couple and their family that are camping here at uh, the same place, um, which is really nice. And they're doing a lap and they've come over from uh, New South Wales, from Sydney. So yeah, we are chatting away and I didn't cover any of Kate's beautiful meal tonight that she made, which was a Malaysian curry uh, with some uh, rice noodles that Izzy picked. So that was nice, um, we, we chowed that down. Yeah, tomorrow uh, we'll see what's in store, but we're thinking of going to Bustleton, maybe grab a coffee and then we'll make a call on, you know, maybe we hit another beach or we might find a local track that we'll do, but we've had a nice enjoyable day. Really hot and humid, <laughs> actually it's still sticky. It's, um, it's 37. Yeah, 37 when we got down to um, Smith's Beach, unbelievable. Morning, bit of a wild night last night. We had some uh, thunderstorms and some heavy rain. So um, yeah, that was fun, but still super humid. So we, we ran the aircon pretty much all last night. Um, so I was keeping an eye on the battery, but we woke up to about 60% battery, which is fine. So that'll top up today. Uh, yeah, just doing a fry up now while the kids and Kate are getting ready for the day. And um, yeah, we'll hopefully get out to Bustleton this morning and then make a bit of a decision on what we want to do. So what are we doing? Well, we always buy an extra few loaves from the, the fire bread our bakery. And we slice it and we put it in our freezer. And then we have slices of toast for the next sort of two, three weeks. Yeah. Um, because it's like got no preservatives, it goes off quite quickly. So we found this is the best way to do it. Just slice it as you as you get it and take it out. But if you want to eat it really nice and fresh, you've really got to have it within 24 hours, maybe mm -hmm. two days max. This is definitely the way to keep it going. If you want to have a slice of toast mm -hmm. in the morning, you know, when you get back to, back to home. We did actually bring three complete loaves back yesterday, didn't we? We didn't eat any in the car. <laughs> There's a loaf, and then we just literally put that back together as one, back in this bag, 
and yeah, they just, don't stick then, no, do they? We put it straight in the, in the freezer and it doesn't stick yeah. at all. This one is hoping for something like uh, maybe some eggs. Hey, Grace? <laughs> yeah? Nice spot, hey? Guess what it's doing? It's raining again. We're like the weather gods because wherever we go, it rains. Guaranteed. <laughs> Check this out. It's like smashing the car. Yeah. <laughs> what are you doing, Mark? Uh, just keeping everything dry. We're about to head out for the day, but of course, just as you're about to leave, it starts to pour down. So. Just uh, rocked up at Bustleton. A uh, very, very humid day today. Very sticky and muggy, so not the nicest of weather, but we're going to try get a nice coffee. Kate's time for one. What are we having here, guys? Snickers um, smoothie. Snickers smoothie, yum. Yeah, we're at the Goose in Bustleton, and there's a volleyball competition going on, so we're having a look at that. I don't know if you can see Mark's hair, or mine. <laughs> it's a bit crazy. Crazy hair, no. I can't really portray just how hot and humid it is today, but it's absolutely stinking hot. So it's sort of mid to high 30s, and the humidity must be through the roof, but I'm actually just, just absolutely sweating. So that's probably the reason we haven't done too much content today. It's just been so hot. We've um, just been really slow, but we're going to try to get to a beach now. There's a beach about 7Ks north of Bustleton that apparently you can drive on with the car. So we're going to head there now. Sorry if you can hear Gracie panting in the background, but she's, she's hot <laughs> as well. Uh, but that's the goal, that the kids have a bit of a swim, we're all a bit hot, so time yeah. to cool down. Okay, we're just at the entry to uh, Warner Up Beach. It's about 7Ks north of uh, the Bustleton Jetty. Yeah, have a quick wander and see how soft it is before we decide to drive. Yeah, so Warner Up Beach uh, was high tide. Um, there wasn't a huge amount of room to get through, so we're going to go to another beach um, that Kate just found. Oh, sorry. It's a bit bumpy. What beach are we at, Mark? Uh, forest Beach. Yeah, it says Forest Beach, so yeah, it's nice and wide compared to the last beach. We're just going to pull up somewhere, I think, and let the kids have a bit of a swim. We've got a nice spot in front of the water, so this will be us for the next couple of hours. Um, the other beach was just a bit too busy and the tide was just in too tight, so it was not uh, worth the risk taking the vehicle down there. Um, but yeah, weather all over the place this trip. It's been really strange. One minute it's super hot and humid, then the next minute it's, it's cool, raining, overcast like it is now. <laughs> so really strange, but uh, that's the southwest for you, hey? Ten seasons in a day. <laughs> Grace, drop. Throw in the water. Whee. Middle of the white. Okay, we got some dolphins. Well, that's not something you see every day. Came within meters of us. It's amazing. There's two, two of them, two dolphins just cruising along the foreshore here. It's amazing, wasn't it? So uh, another little tip, uh, once we've finished uh, being on the beach, I'll show you how dirty the seat gets in our car, especially with uh, Gracie. So absolutely covered in, in sand. 
We've got this little attachment that's from uh, AIB and Max is going to demonstrate how we blast it out. Go Max. Ready? Go. Helps with Gracie's hair as well. Helps with the dog hair, yeah. It's obviously my, my side of the car coming in and out and just turn it towards myself and then blast it. Definitely one of my favorite little attachments. Um, saves a lot of time. Um, obviously you still give it a hoover when I get home, but it's pretty good. Behind us is the famous Bustleton Jetty. So I know we have quite a few followers from outside of WA and outside of Australia for that matter. Yeah, overseas. So overseas. Yeah. So um, yeah, this is Bustleton in West Australia. The jetty is actually pretty old. It was originally built in 1865. And it was only about what 100 and odd meters long. It's 160 meters long. 161 like. meters. Yeah. yeah. So now it's actually 1.8 kilometers long. So it's it's a massive uh, jetty. Uh, but there was actually a major fire uh, back in 1999, and there was almost a million dollars worth of damage at the time. They had to yeah. rebuild quite a lot of the uh, of the jetty. 65 meters of it. Yeah. Really. Yeah. yeah. So, um, but yeah, if you are down in Bustleton, it's kind of the centerpiece. It's um, pretty obvious. It sticks out into the into the yeah. waterfront. So it's Izzy and I doing the walk. Unfortunately, there's no dogs, so uh, Mum and uh, Max have opted to stay back and probably have a coffee. We're going to get some steps in, aren't we? Yep. Uh, yeah, 1.8 kilometres. This 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 uh, jetty, pretty long. We could have brought our bathers. We could have jumped off. We could have, yeah. Quite often, seen people jump in, having having a dip. So uh, yeah, this is the Bustleton Jetty. So there's a train ride that takes 45 minutes, I'm pretty sure all the way up to the end of the dock and all the way back down. So here you go. If you just want to walk, there is a small fee of $4 for adults and kids under 18 are free. Um, it's always nice to do it on foot if you can, but... The train's very slow. Yeah, the train's quite slow. One kilometre. Easy. We still have 800 metres to go. Do you want to go all the way? Yes. Yep. Determined? Yes. It was a one in a lifetime opportunity, you know? It's true. Yeah, there's an underwater observatory when you get to the end of the, uh, the jetty. We're a bit pushed for time. We've got to get back to Perth and still uh, hook up the van and pack down. So we're going to have to give that one a miss today, but hopefully next time, hey, we can do that one. Yeah. High five. Did it. Yes, we did. Nice. It was a great experience. So easy. Was it worth it going to the end? Yes. <laughs> got to see your sign. Indeed. While we're here, um, we thought we'd do a bit of an update for you on our air conditioning. We had a really, really hot couple of days, with the exception of today, you know, Kate sitting next to me in, in a, a cardi. <laughs> Southwest for you, hey, it's crazy. Uh, but the first um, couple of days were just so, so hot. And uh, we had to run the air conditioning um, overnight to just take the edge off. And we thought we'd do an update because um, where do we stay when it was really, really hot? It was Jin Jin. It Jin -jin. was 46 degrees. Yep. Yeah, that yes. was the fire episode when there was a bushfire. Oh, you're right, you're right. Yes, yes. so that was the Moore yeah. River. Yep. Um, okay, so we were running the aircon because it was so hot, and I think we had it set to about 18 or 19 degrees, mm. and we woke up to dead battery basically. So yeah. we, 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 we've never done that before. That. <laughs> so obviously, 18 or 19 is, is too cool. Um, so we, we ran it the first night here at 24 degrees with a fan speed on two, there's, there's four fan speeds and we woke up to 65% battery. So that's really good. So I think the, the temperature is the key with this particular yep. unit. And we also ran the air conditioning uh, last night as well, similar temp and yep. we've woken up to plenty of power. But the first night, we also, as well as the air con, 
we also had uh, the Sirocco fans going, so all four of those were going. And I know my fan particularly was on like the second speed, so it wasn't just a little bit, like it was pretty intense. I don't know about the rest of yeah, them. Yeah. So that would have used a bit more power. Um, and obviously we had all the normal stuff going, the fridge and stuff like that. So that's pretty actually yeah. pretty good. We have covered off our battery system quite comprehensively in other videos, but um, just recapping again, it's 480 amp hours of lithium power. We've got the iTech World um, set up in here and it's been performing really well. So, yeah. um, you know, it's probably more than we need for most of the time. Like we'll hardly touch the battery. It's really the aircon, isn't it? That's the yeah. big draw on this. Yep. Yep. And, and being lithium, they're light, lightweight as well. So that was a, yep. a, another reason we went that route. Yeah, we've enjoyed our stay here uh, at Pete's place. So the owners, um, Pete and Ellen, uh, have been really hospitable. Uh, they've got a beautiful property here. It's very quiet. Um, they'll only let a couple of um, people stay at any one time. Um, I know it hasn't been an action-packed trip like a lot of ours, but um, this, this trip was really just about getting away for the long weekend and, and unwinding. But um, yeah, this spot is actually good because it's only about, I think it's under 15 minutes drive anyway to, from uh, Bustleton. And obviously you're in the heart of the Southwest. You can go to Margaret River and other places as mm. well on day trips. I'll also note um, amenities. They do have a toilet, which is, which is good. <coughs> and uh, there is some power available as well, which is great if you, if you do need that. So um, we actually parked too far away from the power. So Yeah, that... we did try to top up our battery, <laughs> but realized that our power lead did yeah. not reach. No. <laughs> but that's no. okay. We didn't end up needing it, apparently, no. so it's all good. Okay, in this episode <clears throat> of What Do We Forget? There's <laughs> a bit, trust me. I'll go first. So normally with every trip, I'll always make a pre-cooked dinner that we reheat the first night, just so we don't have the pressure of, you know, having to set up and, you know, all of that stuff and having to then cook dinner. So it's normally just a reheat job, just to take the pressure off. And I accidentally left that in the freezer um, I grabbed the ice creams, which were on top, but forgot the dinner. Brought the nachos, but nothing to go with it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh. But Mark forgot a lot yeah, I did this actually. time. Yeah. yeah. I think because, you know, I had a busy week. It was a um, busy week at work. I hadn't done a lot of the prep that I would normally do the weekend before. So generally mm. we're, we're doing probably two trips a month. And quite often the weekend before, I go in the garage and I'll load my ute anyway with all the stuff we need there. So it's just like the fridge and topping up the water and those kind of things. Yeah. But it was all very, very last minute. We were doing everything the night before this particular trip. So yeah, it's a bit crazy. There was things I forgot and the car also went in for its tire rotation. So I'll, I'll always empty it uh, when it goes in, you know, for service or anything like that. So look, I forgot the... Uh, um, the kookaburna. The kookaburna, Which yep. is critical when we go to the beach because we fry. Yeah, and we don't have an awning either. So if we drive on a beach, you know, like we do rely on that at the moment. Towels for the beach. Towels to the beach. So I we forgot. had a swim, the dog had a swim, and then we went, oh, let's get the towels. Yeah. Wah, wah. No, didn't have those either. <laughs> yeah. What else did I forget? I don't know. I can't remember now. We had a big list. <laughs> Maybe I'll put it on the screen. <laughs> it was a lot, though. It was, it was a lot. It was about five things. And anyway, I was like, oh, my gosh, another thing. <laughs> so we've decided we're definitely going to have a checklist now for the well, next I, trip. I did actually make one up. I just need to print some more. Yeah. Yeah, yeah we a need paper to, one. And we need a physical one, I think. You know, or laminate <laughs> it or something old school and just yeah, tick I'm it gonna, off as we do it. I'm going to laminate it and get a whiteboard marker yeah. so we can reuse it each time. Yeah, it's not like we're super remote or anything, mm. so it's probably why you get a little bit complacent sometimes when you're going places where you know yeah. you can buy supplies. But yeah, we, we should know better really, or I should know better because we do this so often. We haven't done Max's pie review either. No, we need to do that. So maybe we'll do that. Find Max a pie. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he's, giving me, he's giving me the thumbs up. Yeah. <laughs> okay, it's pies in the car. <laughs> so uh, we've just gone to Baked in Bustleton. Max has got his traditional meat pie. Izzy's actually done the same. I've got one. Um, and I think Kate's got a spinach and ricotta sausage roll, which is, that was what was available at the time. Yeah. Um, so Max, let's get stuck in. You already had a few bites. You've had time to think about it. So 7.6. 7.6. And why is it a 7.6? It just tastes like your average steak pie. So the average steak pie, but in a good way? In a good way, yeah. <laughs> okay. It's still yummy. It's not yeah, complaining. It's still yummy. Okay. I'm still going to eat it. <laughs> hey, did you know over 70% of you watching this video are not currently subscribed? So hey, if you're one of those, give us a subscribe. Met, met, yeah. some, uh, met some nice neighbours. Um, they yeah. came in the same day as us, actually. Yeah. And, um, Pablo and Carla. <laughs> <laughs> you've had a 
How did I? Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> it's a good bloopers on this. <laughs> Pete and, Pete and <laughs> Ellen. <laughs> Come away from the shop, the shop that people love.